The Dolan twins have posted a video to YouTube recently, and it's the first time in nearly three years that there's been a video posted onto their Dolan twin YouTube channel. This year, the boys have also posted onto Instagram, with Grayson posting twice and Ethan posting once. And although it doesn't sound like too much, it's been their most active year in a while, and fans have been trying to enjoy any glimpse into their lives that they can get. A few years ago, the Dolan twins decided to step away from their social media platforms. This iconic internet duo made waves online for years, having collabed with some of the biggest creators on the platform at the time. Together, they won Teen Choice Awards, Streamies, worked with huge brands, and so much more. But as time passed, they fell out of love with making YouTube videos and found themselves changing and not for the better. The two of them ended up leaving tons of fans behind as they attempted to navigate a new journey for themselves offline, exploring other passions and things that made them happy. In their time away, they have rarely posted to social media, and the only real insight we had to their time away was when they went on Jeanette McCurdy's podcast back in July of 2021. The two of them opened up about their thoughts on social media and how they felt like it had changed them, but not for the better. And they wanted time away to really rediscover who they were and stay true to the values they believe, as they admitted to getting caught up in buying expensive things and trying to uphold an image that just wasn't them. Like I was doing the thing where I was getting expensive clothes and, and driving a cool car and things like that, that I thought, it, I, I think I, the whole time I was just trying to convince myself that that's what I truly wanted for myself. Mm. Um, but it was it was really just so that you could look cool. At other I people. could uphold this yeah. like famous reputation and and like look cool for other people. But it, it didn't actually matter to me, and I I didn't feel like myself sitting in that car, you know. Yeah. And uh, since I've taken a step back and and regained my privacy and and started to explore the things that I actually personally care about, um, I have uh, I've made a lot of changes in that area of my life, and I, I feel so much better. Now, in the same interview, they were talking about things that they were currently working on, and they mentioned a project in the works, which seems to all be related to what they've been posting on social media this year. In July of this year, the boys returned on Instagram for the first time in years to announce the premiere of their short film that they had been working on. Ethan posted to Instagram saying, I made a short film called Nothing Left to Give with Grayson. Our incredible cast and crew made it possible. We're very grateful to be premiering at Holly Shorts Film Festival this August. Have a blessed day. And Grayson posted as well, writing, Hey, wrote, directed, and other things, a short film with my best friend, Ethan Dolan. We're very grateful to be premiering at the Holly Shorts Film Festival this August. Our cast and crew are the reason this film is as special as it is to us. Back in 2021, they were still in the beginning stages of working on this project keeping it very close to their chest, not wanting to reveal too much, but they did open up to Jeanette on that podcast episode about the fact that this was a project they were really happy to be working on. Right now, like we're um, we're kind of working in silence and um, it's been the first time that we've ever done that because in the past, as soon as we work on something, like the whole deal was to like promote it on social media and let everybody know about it. Um, but what we're working on now is, like we haven't really even told our mom about it at all. So, um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know when we're going to be ready to like publicly speak about it. Sure, sure. It's been, it's been, I can say that it's been like just such a, a joy learning something new um, and something that I'm, I'm just extremely passionate about and, and being able to get up and work on it uh, almost every day now. And um, yeah, it's been great. And recently, the twins ended up sharing their film with their YouTube audience, posting onto their YouTube channel for the first time since 2020. Grayson posted to his Instagram saying, Our short film is up on our YouTube channel. Grateful for the people I met and the places this film took us. The comments under their short film have been turned off, but their fans have been thrilled to even just get a glimpse into what they've been working on and were freaking out in the comments of Grayson's Instagram post over the fact that they even got a notification saying the Dolan Twins posted a new video to YouTube. And despite it maybe not being a video fans were expecting, it certainly seems like it's something the boys are very proud of and want to continue creating. And since they've been gone for so long, their fans will take anything that they are posting on social media and run with it. Back when they did the interview with Jeanette, the twins heavily emphasized wanting to create content that had purpose, something they would be proud of, and what they've been doing in their time away has been just that. They didn't want to just do trending challenge videos about things that they didn't care about. They wanted to do more. And when they sat down with Jeanette looking back, it does seem like they teased what this project 
they were working on at the time might have been about as mentions of environmentalism and starting conversations that lead to change were talked about and this film that they had just uploaded to their YouTube channel seems to be exactly what they were talking about with her back then. I think for me personally, I just had a lot of time to sit back and um, find out what I felt was like disturbing or something that made me angry about this mm -hmm. world and the way that it works and then, you know, try to change that. Um, yes. To the best of my abilities. And uh, one of those things has been just environmentalism and how people treat the planet. And I feel that like we could do a better job at that. And also the way we treat animals and we treat other humans. Mm. Um, I know that sounds like a, a lot of a lot of stuff, but that's why I really want to take my time to, to think about how I can sure projects that maybe you know evoke conversation or you know and then maybe lead to change. So it seems like the boys do want to continue working together on films in the future. The two of them were interviewed at the Holly Shorts Film Festival, and there they talked about how they would love to make what they've created into a full-length feature. But one thing is for sure, and it's that they are going to stay a working duo. Yes, I think we're going to continue to work together. It's worked out so far. We've we've definitely uh, <laughs> gone past some road bumps, but uh, yeah, no, it's it's good. No, we're running on a handshake agreement that we'll keep doing this together. But yeah, we're just yeah very very blessed to be able to to be able to work with my best friend. So. Uh, yeah, I'm just really grateful to be here. Aside from them sharing their short film, the twins haven't shared anything else about their lives, but people have been able to sort of keep up with at least Ethan through Christina, who is now his fiance. At the end of July, she shared this photo of the two of them announcing their engagement, writing the most special day of my life. She had also shared this image from their short film premiere at the Holly Shorts Film Festival in August, which people started to then speculate, like, who is this blonde girl? Is she with Grayson? But she's actually one of the leads in their short film. But every now and then, fans do get a glimpse into the boy's life, and who knows where the next project will take them or how long it will be before they talk about a new project or do a new interview or just post on social media. It's certainly been quite the ride, their relationship with social media, but this year, things have certainly been different than the past few. I will say that in making this video, it's kind of interesting that I just talked about Emma Chamberlain, not because of Ethan, but because of the fact that what they are saying is very similar to what she was saying in her recent interview on the Colin and Samir podcast, where she was talking about being unfulfilled by the videos that she was posting onto YouTube and that, you know, she was very just unhappy. She didn't want to be doing challenge videos. She wanted to do things that sparked her creativity and made her feel good. And it seems like that's exactly what the Dolan twins wanted to do as well. They didn't want to be doing these challenge videos. They wanted to create content that had meaning and they too were willing to step away from this huge platform that they had in order to you know, find joy at the end of the day and create things that they loved. And I definitely think that's the case for a lot of creators that have stepped away, like Liza Koshy. She's no longer making YouTube videos, but she has talked about wanting to explore other aspects of the entertainment industry because that's where her heart is. I just think a lot of people that got really big during the challenge era and, you know, they got big for their personality and the funny things that they would say and do in videos. I think those are the people that are like, you know, I want to do something that I'm super passionate about and they realize as time goes on that the YouTube challenge videos just like are not for me anymore. They were good at it and they got big from it, but it wasn't where their heart was. Whereas like, I do think that a lot of the people that I have seen stick around the most and the longest have been making videos doing something that they love. It's not always that way. I mean, there's definitely people that create videos and they're doing the challenges and that's just where they're going to stay and that's just what they're going to do. But I definitely think a lot of the ones that have gone away have gone to do things that they actually do love. I don't know. It's just interesting. YouTube is such a ride and it's such a world that is still so new and the door doesn't close for anyone. People can always come back, which I think is also the thing about it is that anyone that has gone away can simply come back or you know, try to utilize it in a new way, like the Dolan Twins have uploaded their short film onto their Dolan Twin channel. So it's just crazy to look and kind of speculate what will happen and, you know, see what has happened. But I want to know what you guys think about all of this and especially what we talked about today with the Dolan Twins. Did you guys see their short film? Did you even know that Ethan was engaged? Let me know all your thoughts in the comments. I love you guys so much and I will talk to you in the next video. Bye guys. Oh, <laughs> oh,